And a UNM economist says the state of New Mexico is following the national trend of more of its workers trying to unionize. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch spoke with that economist about what is driving this trend. We're seeing nationwide an uptick in a support for unions and unions are becoming stronger. It's and this is uh, historically since the 1970s, unions have been in decline in union participation and union strength. And and now it's it's the beginning of of a turnaround. Whether it has been employees at Starbucks, graduate students at UNM or employees at the Wells Fargo on Montgomery and Juan Tabot, a UNM professor says we are seeing more groups filing to join a union. Unions, even if they're small unions, they start, but they also are associated with bigger labor organizations with parent union organizations. UNM professor of economics Matias Fantinla says for many employees, the union gives them a voice they do not think they have. Unions are beneficial for workers. Unions give workers a voice. They give them, there's lots of research showing that unions um, increase wages, that they increase benefits, and they overall make uh, labor conditions better. Graduate students at the University of New Mexico have also created a union and walked out last month to fight for better pay. Fontenla says those students' wages and benefits have increased for the first time in a long time. Higher salaries and benefits for workers in New Mexico then um, multiply into the economy in the sense that if workers get higher salaries, then they will spend that into the economy. And this is good for the economy. Marilyn Upchurch, Care QE, News 13. Wells Fargo sent us a statement about one of its branches in the metro trying to unionize, saying, quote, we actively listen to our employees through multiple feedback channels and their voices have driven many of the enhancements we have made, end quote. Their full statement is at krqe.com.